All right, guys, we're back. Uh, sitting here goofing around with uh, an idea. I've had this little small fridge in here for a little bit. Still not running it because um, I really hadn't had time this summer to set up any experiments or anything. So I got thinking, why not? Let's try this. Uh, we're going to use the solar power that I got in the camper right now. Got an extension cord for right now because I'm not done with the electrical like I'd like to be. Got the batteries already in place. Uh, have you seen uh, some other videos? I was just using the little DC fan, so I'm sitting at 12.8, 12.7 as uh, the sun is shining. So I was using a little bit of power. But, you know, let, let's try this. Uh, what's the worst case? For just in case. I don't blow up that inverter. I picked this one up from a neighbor for five bucks. Came with uh, the little, little plug-in for the cigarette lighter, uh, and we got the standard battery one. So what we're gonna do? Set this experiment up right. We're gonna take, put these, put these on, cut the inverter on, make sure it works. Then what I'm going to do is take the extension cord, run it all the way down to that fridge, and we're going to see how long we can power this sucker for. Give me a second, let me get set up. Alright, well we got the got the inverter tied in, that's why I love my little experiment uh, station here. Simple clamp on, nothing to it, just got to always remember this side is going to be all positive rail, the other side is all negative rail. So let's see what we're getting ready to do here. Alright, so I got the inverter hooked up. Let's cut it on, see if make sure it works. Alright. See we've got a green light for the power. No uh, fault indication. So let's take the handy dandy extension cord. Plug it on up. Uh oh. That's not good. We got a fault indicator already, if you can see that. Well, for a five dollar, uh, for something for five bucks, I really can't bitch. Let's cut it off. Cut it back on. Still got green. As soon as I plug something up, I go straight to fault. Now... Straight to fault. All right. Well, the just uh, so we don't say that this thing is toast. Kind of sucks. Let's confirm, see what's going on. What we're gonna do is come over to another 400 watt inverter. Could be the inverters are too small. I don't know. I know that one works. Let's see. Uh, is it showing a fault too? No, the fault light will have went away. Oop! Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry for the shakiness. Try and do this one-handed. It's plugged up. Hey, let's see what we're doing back here. I'll explain the hole in the back in another video. It's another experiment I'm doing. Well, I've got uh, I've got this thing running. What the hell is this doing in here? I'll just throw this up here. I hear the compressor on. The coldest setting is set at ten. Oh, no hidden stuff in the deep freezer. All right. Well, move some of these old jars around. Got all kind of junk in here. Fridge ain't clean, doesn't matter. Um, it's been sitting here forever. Just needs a good, uh, just needs a good old uh, clean up. Let's uh, let's see if we can find a way. Oh, there we go. We got something to monitor. That's what it's reading right now inside the camper. So we know it's running. We know. Matter of fact, let's see. Set this up for a proper experiment. 
set that it's right around 80 degrees make sure it don't fall all right how long can we make this thing run for off of uh, my solar bank as you see I went down to 12.3 not particularly sure how accurate it is and you go get my meter but of course we got the inverter pulling a little power to, to convert that power from 12 volts to 110 we got the little fridge up and going it's about 80 degrees inside this sucker you know what for shits and giggles let's grab that's my fan hook that up went down to 12.2 fluctuating 12.2 12.3 as you see outside it's kind of a cloudy day so we're not getting full peak sun let's see um let's see what we can do I'm only going to be in here for a couple more minutes with the fan on, so I'm not going to try to keep drawing on current. It's, uh, well, we know we got that fridge kicking. So, out of curiosity, let's see, we're at 12.2. Let's unplug the fan. We're going to remain at 12.2. All right. I'll be back in a couple minutes, and we're going to continue to see what we're going to be doing out here. Boy, look at that. 12.5. Let's kind of go out here and see what's going on with uh, solar panels. I think y'all can kind of see this day. It's kind of, there's a little bit of sun. There's the panels up there. They are extremely dirty. So I know I'm going to, I'm be, uh, I'm losing some power definitely by not having them cleaned. I'll need to get up there. Since I'm uh, out here doing this experiment, I've got a couple experiments going to be going on with the water tanks and uh, with the AC are going to be inside the camper. So stay tuned for some of my further videos. With all this crazy rain that we've had here in North Florida, them tanks are definitely topped off. They're actually about at the overflow point. I just thought it was kind of crazy, so I was just kind of bringing it all out just to see that. With the sun shining a little bit more, still 12.5. Can't beat that. This is just a note, um, it's a little note I'm throwing in here. I've, uh, I've turned around, re, uh, hooked the little 400 watt Coleman power inverter up. And I don't know if you can see that. I just have the wires going right into it, just like, uh, it would normally be plugged in. Running a little light, it's fine. You notice it's just got the green light on. When I tried hooking up the fridge to this, it told me that it was a fault. Well, 400 watts, 800 watts peak. You can see that close. Now it's upside down. But it's also 400 watts and it's 800 watt peak. That's crazy that a brand name like Coleman cannot run that fridge, but Harbor Freight can. Now that, that's just crazy because it's normally the other way around when it comes to uh, power solutions. Just wanted to throw this clip in there as I'm doing this experiment. Alright, let me see, I'm trying to keep careful notes here. At 225, that fridge was 80 degrees inside at 12.3 volts reading on the uh, meter. Let's see, go ahead and take another reading. It's 241. I'm actually at 12.4, same kind of overcast day. So let's go ahead and write this down. Let's see, we're at 12.4 volts. All right, and let's go ahead while we're at it. Let's go ahead and walk over to the fridge. Kind of curious to see what this thing will do. Still running. It's kind of quite warm on the outside. Oh, wow. We dropped 20 degrees. We're at 60 degrees. So let's note that down. <clears throat> Still pushing 12.4 volts. Let's note that down. Let's see if we can make this experiment a success. Trying to keep tabs up with this experiment. I'm uh, looking at my power. I'm still at 12.5 volts. Still running the, the little fan. It's right now 251. Let's check out. Uh, let's see what we got in here. 50 degrees. Dropping and dropping fast, so this is not bad. Let me record this. 
and we'll see how long we can keep this running for. All right, come back in here to try to see what else uh, this experiment's doing. It's uh, approximately right now 3:19 p.m. Charge control still reading 12.5. Out of curiosity, what are we doing in the fridge coldness wise? Go ahead and call it at 40 degrees. Something I seen earlier. Look at that. Frosted up, so we know it's definitely doing something. We're at 40 degrees. Temperature still dropping. 12.5. I think for a grid down situation, this is definitely plausible that we could run this for several days, if not infinity, on long as we have uh, solar power going on well alright uh, this is um, the last update on this 323 so we've been uh, we've been approximately running this for one hour now so in an hour we went from 80 degrees uh, inside temperature all the way down to 40 degrees within an hour I don't think that's bad it's still running off the solar Everything's running in here so far. We've got uh, charge controllers saying 12.4. Inverter still running. Fridge is still hooked up. Shits and giggles. Plug up the the fan. Got a little fan action going on in here. Still pulling such a load. You know we're not really pulling too much. Let's cut a light on. Matter of fact, let's cut another one on. Low water jelly D's. We've got just about every light running. Fan pulling. Got the little porch light on. Still at 12.4. It's not bad. I do want to expand this system. So I'm going to call this a little experiment definitely plausible that Harbor Freight will definitely run it. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's to a certain efficiency that the panels that the, um, I'm trying to remember the exact name, I believe it's polycrystalline. Maybe I'm wrong. It's the panels that they make will produce power in very, very low light. They don't produce much overall because they're such small panels but that will keep on producing and I think that's definitely going to be um, it's definitely going to be you know definitely worthwhile in the long run test we're gonna go ahead and shut this down I uh, just wanted to throw this up there I've been wanting to do this uh, the next day off I have what I'm going to do is get a couple more extra panels we'll get them hooked up to the charge controller and we're gonna run this experiment for a full solid 24 hours to see what if they will sustain uh, the longevity of the test overnight with nothing coming into the from the panels into the batteries and to see if uh, my battery bank can handle it thank you guys please rate comment subscribe um, definitely put me comments down below to tell me what y'all think um, any, you know any uh, comments anything on this um, you know what since before I let y'all go let's go ahead and start shutting all this down Turn that off. Go ahead and kill this light. We'll just kill them all the way back. Kill that one. Kill the one here. And last but not least, shut that down. It was at 12.4. Went right back to 12.5. Coming back over here, opening the fridge. Hear the compressor shutting down. All right, let's pull this out. Hang it back here on the little hook that I have it normally set on. Nope, maybe it was this one. It's 40 degrees what it was reading inside there, and I am surprised it's not spiking like crazy being how hot it is in here. Within a couple minutes, this definitely will get to the 80 degree mark. Slowly somewhat seeing it as it warms up. But guys, thank you so much for watching. These are just little experiments as, uh, as I'm trying to definitely get on to a bigger project. And that's definitely starting the off-grid cabin. Oh, before I forget, let's turn off the meter. 
so I don't know. You know, uh, one day I hope to get the off-grid cabin project started. We're going to go on a larger scale. Something definitely much greater than what uh, I have here. But this is basically my little um, experiment station. Kind of get an idea of stuff. Um, if I do the off-grid cabin, I think definitely a better battery bank. But for what I've got, it wouldn't hurt me to add... Uh, wouldn't have hurt to add really a couple more uh, panels which I'm gonna do that here before I ever get out to doing the bigger project um, maybe even a couple more maybe I've got four batteries now maybe eight go add four more of the same ones shits and giggles are not super expensive um, hell you never know maybe one day I'll pop up and have 16 hooked up in unison and we'll see you know what they're going to do overall. 16 of them, if you have enough juice coming in, hell, I think it'll run it, depending on the power demands. Well, guys, from little Fluffy there to his little buddy, we also bid farewell.